All right, Math 6 students, way to go. You are on the last lesson for the year. All right, so um, I am moving to just doing the work on paper. You won't see me do the work on the actual clothes hanger today, but you will see that work in the hanger model on the left side of your worksheet. So there are six problems for you to do. I'm gonna do two of them with you right now. And there's a challenge problem that's number six, which is really tricky, but you might be able to figure it out. Okay, so if I look at the directions on this sheet, it says draw a hanger model for each equation and then write your steps on the right side. Okay, so let's look at what that really means in the first problem. On the left, I see the equation 10 equals 2a plus 4. So I'm going to rewrite it on the right hand side and say 10 is the same as two a's and four. That's my first step to rewrite. I want you to see how those are exactly the same. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line that's right under the two right now and I'm going to extend it down to separate the two sides of the hanger. In fact, I'm gonna make it a little bit wider so you can really see it here. All right, I'm gonna separate the two sides of the hanger and I'm gonna make that same line in my right box to show that I'm looking at both sides of the hanger, the left and the right side. All right, now I'm going to go into my first equation. I'm going to zoom in and on the left I see 10. So I'm going to write 10, get it, grab a smaller pen here, 10 and I'm going to put it in a box because it's a number. On the right side of the equation, I see 2a and 4. So I'm going to write out a circle, a circle, and then I'm going to put 4 in my box. Notice that I'm using two different colors here. I'm really training my brain to see that the letters, the variables, are different than numbers at this point. Okay, so if you look on the left side of the hanger, you see 10. On the right hand side of the hanger, you see 2a and 4. All right, that's what we see in the algebraic represent representation too. There's 10 on the left side, there's 2a's and 4 on the right side. Okay, for our next step, when I'm solving algebraic equations, I want to know what letter this a is hiding out as and remember if that a I, I said a letter i meant number what number that a is hiding out as whatever number that a is has to be the same for that a so the way that i figure this out is by trying to get these a's all by themselves to get rid of that number that's right there all right that's called isolating the variable isolating means to get them by themselves so i need to get rid of that four all right, so we've talked about keeping a hanger in balance. If I want to just cross out this four, I can't just cross it out on that side of the hanger. I have to also cross it out over here on this side. But the problem is there isn't four over here. So before I can cross out that four, I have to get a four over here. That means I need to change my 10 I need to change my 10. I'll use a different kind of blue color. Maybe slide over. There we go. I'll use a different kind of blue color and change my 10 into 6 and 4. So here's a 6. Here's a 4. I'm going to cross out that 10 and then I'm going to ask myself, do I still have 10 on the left side of the hanger? And I do. But now notice that I have a 4 on each side. So if I want to just have the A's over here, just this part here, if I only want that, I have to get rid of that four on the right side, I'm gonna take it off, and I have to get rid of the four on the left side to keep it in balance. To show that in the algebraic model, right? to get rid of means to take off, means to take away. First I took away four on the right side where the A's are. Do you see how my fours line up? They're right underneath each other. You need to do that. You can't put minus four under the A's. I had four and now I'm gonna take away that four. And I'm going to write that on the other side too, because we took that 10 and we really took away four from that 10. That's the part that we crossed out. All right, so I'm going to 
highlight that so you can see it. This minus 4 is here, and this minus 4 is here. All right, now I'm going to look at what's still left on my hanger model. So what's left on the left side is 6, and what's left on the right side is 2 A's. So showing that in my hanger model, or sorry, in the algebraic representation, get rid of that highlighted, on the left side, it says 10 take away 4, and that's 6. Zoom out. That's what is shown on our hanger model. We still have 6 on the left side, right? So now, on the right side, this now says 2a plus, well, I had 4, then I took away 4. This is 2a plus nothing, and I'll take a look. Isn't that what it shows on the hang hanger model? Two A's and nothing. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is clean this up a little bit and write six equals, or six is the same as having two A's. That's what's left on our hanger model. Here they are, six on the left side, two A's on the right. The very last step now is to figure out, well, what is each A? So I'm going to draw an arrow from the six to each A and say, Two of something makes six. Or the better way of saying this is saying, I have six, I'm gonna split it into two parts because each A has to be the same. This is equally split, this is division. Six divided into two is three. That means that A is three and that A is three. All right, so the part that we're going to show now in algebra is this part, the splitting equally. To show that on the right side, equally splitting is division. Divide into two, divide into two. At the very end, it said, let's go right back one more time. At the very end, to find my answer, I'm going to look now at what number is right next to that A. There's a three. What number is right next to that A? There's a three. That means that three is the same as the letter A in this problem. And now let's just double check one more time to see if everything is right. I'm just gonna look at the right side of this problem, all right? So I don't have to think about these as A's anymore because it says three. So I'm gonna look at the numbers that were on this side, three, three, and four. If I add them together, three plus three is six, plus four is 10. And if I look back at the number that we started with here, what did we start with? 10. So we really ended up having 10 on the left side and 10 on the right side. Looking at our algebra, that means this answer, 3 is the same as A, is the correct answer. Check. All right, let's do one more so you can really feel confident about what you're doing. The next problem says 5 plus 4b is the same as 25. So I'm gonna write that over on the right side. Five plus four b's is the same as 25. My first step is to make my line going down through to separate the two sides of my hanger. And I'm gonna do that on my equation as well. Now I'm going to start drawing out this problem on the hanger model. I had five. That gets a square or a rectangle, and then I'm going to draw four B's. One, two, three, four, and put them in circles. And on the other side, I'm just going to double check, is 25. So that goes in a square or a box or a rectangle again. This is our picture. That is exactly what the equation on the right-hand side shows. On the left, I have five and four B's. On the right, I have 25. Okay. Now we're ready to look at this picture and say, in order to find out what each B is, I need to only have B's on this side. But there isn't just B's on this side. There's also a five. So I want to take away that five on the top. But if you remember from the first problem, we can't just take away five on the left side. We also have to take away five on the right side. That means I need to change 25 into 20 and five, I'll put them in boxes, 20 and five, because together, 20 and five, together, this is 25. So now, I'm gonna take off that 25 so I don't have too much. I still have 
25 on this hanger. There are still 25 on the right side. But now I can take away five on the left side and take away five on the right side. Let's show that in our equation. Our first step was to take away five on both sides. When we do that, we are now left with four B's on the left, four B's, and on the right side, we're left with 20. Are there any numbers left on the left side? Any numbers that remain? There aren't. So we can write zero plus four B, but we know that anything plus zero is just the same thing. So we could just write that as four B's is the same as having 20. Okay. Now, because each B has to represent the same number, I'm taking that 20 and I'm splitting it into one, two, three, four equal groups. So this problem becomes 20 split into four. So I'm gonna write that next in my equation. Split into is divide by split into four. All right, now each group is going to be a B that represents B that is the same as, well, 20 split into four, or 20 divided by four is five. So I'm gonna put a five, five, a five, and a five. If I add those together, five, 10, 15, 20, that does make 20. So each B should be the same as the number five. To double check, let's go back to our original equation. It said, I'm going to highlight it in red on the top, 5 plus 4 B's is the same as 25. So let's just look at the left side. Here's that original 5 plus our B's that we changed into 5. Does all of that make 25? 5, I should probably shouldn't use arrows. Let's make stars. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It is the same as having 25. So that means B equals 5 is the correct answer, and I checked it over. All right, your job is to try the last one on this page. I'll scroll down. The next two, notice that there's a bigger number here, so just be careful. It works the same way. I bet you can figure it out. And then the very last one is a tricky challenge problem. All right? See if you can figure out that one, too all before you watch the answer key. After you watch the answer key, you can fix your work and submit it, but try each problem first. Good luck.